hey, we are already in October, and in the following days, we are anticipating the last round of Apple devices in 2022. With products like the new MacBooks, Mac Mini models, and possibly 10th generation iPad, the iPad Pro lineup is something that appears to be the most certain. Yet, according to leaks and published information, it's really questionable how big upgrade this release will be. Let's talk about it and let's touch the subject for who these professional tablets could be. Hi friends and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors and reviews. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This one is powered by Moft. Don't forget to check the links in the description and in a pinned comment for some awesome iPad, MacBook and iPhone accessories. Get a discount via Digital Marketing Channel. The iPad Pro models will not feature some huge design changes this year, if there are any in the first place. Familiar and form factor is something that's been introduced back in 2018 and it's here to stay, at least for one more year. 12.9 inch behemoth will remain the crown jewel Apple's tablet's product line. Bezels are expected to remain the same as well as gorgeous mini LED or as Apple prefers to call it XDR liquid retina display with high contrast, 1000 nits of full screen brightness with a peak of 1600 and now well established technologies like True Tone and P3 wide color gamut with highest screen refresh rate up to 120 hertz aka promotion. On the other end, there is a smaller 11 inch variant, traditionally choice of professionals who prefer mobility thanks to its lightness and dimensions. And at the same time, they don't want to spend that much money. Contrary to initial rumors how this model will get display improvements in the form of mini LED this year, such plan appears to be on hold for now. While OLED screens on the iPads may be something we can hope for as early as in 2023, documents published by Omdia Research Group introduced alleged display roadmap for OLED implementation on the iPad. Such roadmap is questionable and may not be accurate. In other words, as far as 11-inch iPad Pro goes, it's probable it will remain stuck with standard LCD for some time. While both kinds of professional iPads from 2021 offer screen with excellent contrast, brightness, and color representation, it's really uncertain will their successors truly offer any display improvements that should urge you to upgrade regardless if you're a business professional, digital artist, gamer, or simply everyday user. From multimedia consumption standpoint, there it could be improved speakers and microphones, which is cool, but I doubt it will be as worth to choose 2022 version over the one from 2021. Will Apple push the bar in terms of back cameras? It is really unknown. They easily can, and it would make sense to make another step to keep up with the latest iPhones. If that is relevant checkpoint to some of you that record videos and shoot photos with the iPad, waiting may not be a bad decision after all. The biggest question and probably the most important jump in this year's iPad Pro lineup will be at its core. The M2 processor is the second generation of Apple's in-house desktop class chip, which beside in MacBooks will also settle within the iPads for professionals. As it was case in 2021 with the M1, this year's Apple Silicon will likely be offered in various memory configurations. This year's model is coming with slightly higher clock speeds and two Two more graphics cores, which at least on MacBook benchmarks has proven performance increase around 15 to 18 percent. Yet probably the biggest difference comparable to previous year chip is that Apple M now supports up to 24 gigs of system memory, which could be the turning point for those users who really needs it. Here comes the problem. The iPad OS is so brilliantly optimized that even in the most extreme cases, iPad Pros from 2021 with both 8 and 16 gigs of memory haven't been much different in terms of performance. So the question is, will with 24 gigs option something dramatically change? Yes, Apple did make some modification its tablet OS to allow applications to utilize up to 12 gigs of memory. Yet how 
many will really be able to use it, at least for now? Hmm? Not many. So far, even hardcore professionals and artists can easily rely on 2021 iPad Pro with 8 gigs of memory. The only true advantage can be something in the long run. If you're not planning to replace it with the next one every year or every two years, new apps will definitely arrive and the existing ones will become eventually more power and memory hungry. And then users can benefit from more memory and as we all know, there is no such thing as enough memory. If you belong to this group of people, then you could wait and you should. The iPad OS is becoming more and more complex too, so you can expect that every other iteration will bring new features, closing the gap to the Mac OS, but it also means it will require more resources too. Another thing that you should be aware of is that we may get 14 inch model next year. And who knows, an OLED punch hole design with dynamic island being possibility too. Let me say it straight away. I think that starting from the next year, Apple is done with the notch completely. Just keep all of that in mind. It's 2022 and Apple still didn't bring Wi-Fi 6E within its iPhone 14 lineup, which is already available in competing devices. Bluetooth 5.3 has been implemented though, so no reason why not to expect it within the iPad Pro models. MagSafe and wireless charging could be exciting to some, but I'm kind of hesitant to imagine it as a must-have feature. And then those new smart connectors, if you already own some iPad Pro accessories that rely on Apple's existing kind of a connection, you may be out of luck since as predictions suggest, this year's professional iPads will arrive with 4-pin connectors, so it is likely you will have to purchase the new accessories as well. One thing that I was talking about a couple of times before is the next Apple Pencil. Third generation has been part of the rumor mill and we've seen the leaks too, but so far it hasn't arrived yet. The new patents gave us hope for some rotating and sliding gestures thanks to more advanced sensors, but that's completely uncertain, even if this year could be a good opportunity to unveil the new stylus from Cupertino. In case its features improve the use for digital artists, obviously, at least hypothetically, the wait for this specific user category may be worth a while, but that's a big puzzle. Let me ask you a question. What are you planning to do? Will you buy one of this year's iPad Pro models? Please Please answer below. That would be it. I hope you had fun watching this video. The rest you know. If you did, make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching this Tomakin channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.